how do chromosomal abnormalities happen? Uh, we already know about different types of structural defect and here is the explanation. Most common is non-disjunction. When non-disjunction occurs, it usually occurs uh, during meiosis. You, you, uh, read after that in case of trisomy uh, down syndrome, the genetic defect is, are three types. Uh, one is non-disjunction which is the most common, second is translocation, third one is mosaicism. So, this non when uh, it is a very common question then wh when this non-disjunction occurs, is it during mitosis or during meiosis? So, this is the answer, this non-disjunction usually occurs in meiosis. <coughs> that means, when during meiosis stage when two uh, pairs of chromosome come close to close or it divides into two chromatids, uh, uh, in case of non-disjunction they fail to separate to the separate pole of the cell. Either uh, total uh, cells, uh, total chromosomes uh, went to the one pole or one uh, uh, chromosome remain in another pole. So, what uh, we, we expect that paired chromosome will be present in everywhere, but if in case of non disjunction if they are fail to separate uh, of chromatids or chromosomes the in uh, there are three number of chromosome came to one side or one chromosome in go to another side. Okay. So, uh, that is produced trisomy 21. <coughs> so, this is the non disjunction and uh, another important is who is responsible father or mother for this non disjunction non disjunction can happen in both mother and father but usually it comes from mother so underline these lines so this first line is important that non disjunction occurs during meiosis and second line here this non disjunction and meiosis one in mother most of the cases <coughs> and this non disjunction this chance of non disjunction increases with in age of mother we know that uh, um, increasing age of mother increase the chance of uh, having a baby with down syndrome what is the explanation of the explanation is down uh, non uh, disjunction only non disjunction is uh, affected by the age of mother but in case of translocation there is no role of age of mother or father okay so only this kind of genetic defect that is non disjunction depends on the maternal age. What are the uh, ratio that 1 in 1500 if 20 year old, 1 in 30 in 45 year old. You will get more and more ratio in when you solve the question. So, you can underline these lines also. Okay. Next anaphase lag is this one kind of defect anaphase lag. And uh, during the phase of anaphase, <coughs> just uh, during uh, as uh, non -dis in case of non disjunction, we found that uh, paired chromosome or paired chromatids fail to separate to um, go to the pole of the cell. And in anaphase lag, that they are lazy actually. See whereby one of the sex chromosome moves too slowly to the pole of daughter cell during cell division. Therefore, ends up outside the cell and broken down. Okay. Almost same types that in that case they are uh, failed to separate and anaphase leg they moves too slowly that it remains outside that nucleus and broken down. It also can happen during meiosis. Just underline this during meiosis. So, anaphase lag is an example of Turner syndrome. Uh, in case of genetic defects for Turner syndrome, it could be non disjunction, it could be anaphase lag, it could be mosaicism. So, so anaphase you will get anaphase lag during study of Turner syndrome. Another important is mosaicism. Mosaicism we, we, we have one cell line that is uh, as I am a lady, so 46 XX. 
when a patient have more than one cell line at a time and uh, different number of chromosomes that is called mosaicism. So, presence of two cell lines with different number of chromosomes in each one is abnormal and one is normal this is called mosaicism like in case of down syndrome see here is one cell line 46 xx and another cell line is 47 xx plus 21 is also common in Turner the one cell line is 45 x0 another cell line is 46 xx this is these are the examples of mosaicism and one of the uh, important information for mosaicism is the syndromes due to mosaicism usually present very few phenotypic features they are not very pronounced pheno phenotypic features it's just such for example in case of down syndrome usually all phenotypic features are very much obvious in case of non disjunction and translocation but in case of mosaicism there are very few features of um, down syndrome they look almost normal <coughs> when you uh, if you suspect uh, when you go for karyotyping test then you will, you will get that oh yes it, this is due to mosaicism <coughs> so mosaicism usually results in minor phenotypes you can underline these lines also now come to translocation which is the most common structural defect of chromosome i already told you balanced and unbalanced that there is no net loss or gain okay all both uh, chromosome are equal but unbalanced there may be deletion or duplication there is gain or loss that is unbalanced but what i what will i do to know balanced or unbalanced i know uh, my patient has a down syndrome uh, due to translocation what what is the importance of knowing that balanced or un unbalanced yes there is impo importance which one that that is balanced translocation are important to recognize as they can result in transmission of unbalanced chromosome translocation to offspring that is if a mother is a carrier of balanced translocation his uh, sorry her baby may have unbalanced chromosomal translocation for this information that is for genetic counseling i have to know about this types of translocation okay another important thing is reciprocal translocation what is that this is when uh, translocation occurs between two chromosome usually it occurs uh, same side that is here is uh, number two position this chromosome also have number two position then translocation occurs but if it occurs between two and four or five six seven then it is called reciprocal translocation that is non homologous segment okay translocation between two chromosomes at non homologous segment site are different that is called reciprocal transloc translocation it has also uh, importance that it can pass on to offspring another is robertsonian translocation this also uh, you, uh, important you will find it in during study of down syndrome what are the robertsonian translocation when translocation occurs in certain chromosomes which are called acro chromosomes acrocentric chromosomes what are the acrocentric chromosomes at the very first page we know that chromosomes had centromere there is a constricted region centromere on both side of that there is short arm and long arm isn't it if the centromere present at the one end close to a one end then it's that chromosome is called acrocentric chromosome what are they that is 13 14 15 21 22 and y these are the acrocentric chromosomes if translocation occurs in between two of them then it is called robertsonian translocation then again what are the importance of knowing it same thing that uh, uh, I, mean, I mean parents of uh, robertsonian translocation can pass on this uh, defect to their offspring <coughs> as with reciprocal translocation parents translocation are important to recognize because they can cause transmission of unbalanced chromosome complement to offspring okay 
So there are different types of translocation. There is a balanced translocation, unbalanced translocation, reciprocal translocation and Robertsonian translocation. Usually in case of Down syndrome, there is Robertsonian translocation present.